I was a guy who said, if they're going with Geno Smith, they're not even trying to win. Are we really trusting Geno Smith? The Monday night game and the post-game interview that got all the attention, they wrote me off, but I didn't write back. Were you planning to say that? I wasn't planning to say that. Yeah. Um, you know, I was kind of taken aback by the question. To be honest, I was never thinking about the people that wrote me off, so that's kind of where the answer came from. Um, I was never worried about it, and I guess that's where the whole, you know, I didn't write back thing came from, but uh, it's a cool moment when you look back on it. What Geno has done has been incredible. Geno Smith believed in himself. He's different than he was. Were there times when you thought or wondered, maybe I won't get a chance to be a starter again? I think you always have those thoughts like deep in the back of your mind. Hey, maybe I won't get a chance to start again. For me, it was never going to be because I didn't work hard or because I didn't uh, put the time in. So I studied film, uh, I hit the weights, and I studied the playbook as if I was a starter the whole time. When I was here, you know, they say the twos are up, and I'll have to tell coach there's no twos. You know, I'm the one, two. You know, you got two ones. That's how I felt about every team I've been on when I was the backup. You're not sneaking up on anybody this year. What gives you confidence that you can deliver on that and even maybe even improve? I believe in when you get out what you put in. And so the amount of work I've spent training, studying film, you know, bonding with my teammates, that's what gives me confidence. And whether things go great or not, I know they'll go great, but you know, there's, it's not ever gonna be perfect. There's always gonna be some obstacles, but I'm prepared for those. You already had two of the top receivers in the league. They draft another one in the first round. Tell us what Jackson's looked like out here and what he brings to the table. You know, Jackson is, uh, man, he's everything that uh, they said he'd be, man. He is through and through just a natural receiver, man. He understands how to get open. He's got great hands, runs great routes. The best thing about him is that he's a humble, humble kid. He understands that he has to continue to learn and grow, and he's willing to put the work in. And so just being able to be around him, you can really tell he understands that he gets it. Geno Smith and the Seahawks reaching an agreement on a contract. Three years, $105 million. What did it feel like when the contract extension happened this offseason? How satisfying was that? The money um, doesn't satisfy me, honestly. You know, money is not a thing that I'm focused on. No matter how much they pay me, it'll never be what I'm worth. You know, I'm worth a lot more than just some money or something like that. What I bring to the table is something beyond financial status or anything like that. To me, it doesn't symbolize who I am. To someone on the outside, it may mean something, but to me, no.